morning troops. Another day, another drain. Oh, what a glorious morning. This, this, this is why I come out. You know, it's, it's a fantastic morning. The sky this morning was bright red. It's a lovely frost on the ground. Everything looks archetypal piking weather. I'm really excited for today. It's, uh, I'm going to go run through the swim with you in a minute. Just got three rods set up. Oh, yeah, I mean, it really is. Oh, let's have a see what you can see behind me. That sky. It's not the greatest picture in the world now, but earlier on, when I was setting up, absolutely glorious. So, yeah, as I say, another day, another drain. Gonna really be positive and upbeat. You can't, you can't help it when a morning like this. Wipe the frost off the car. Get down to the local river or a local drain, and let's see what we can catch. I'll run through the swim with you now. I'm really, really pumped up for today. Really, really looking forward to it. You know, it started off weather-wise, scenery-wise. Ah, oh, just you can't beat it. Let's have a look at this swim. So there we have my left-hand rod. Baits are frozen solid still. I've lost one on the cast. It was that it was that frozen that the, the trebles didn't hold. I don't have any barbs on my trebles at all. They just didn't hold. It, you know, come off on the cast. I've got another one out there. So left hand rod, ledged, whole sardine. No, sorry, my mistake. Whole herring. About six to eight inches long. Static on the deck. There's the middle rod, float fished, lamprey section on a single circle hook. That's a size six circle hook, I believe. Not huge. Now some people go fours, twos, and all sorts, but I find a six is fine. You know, it's, I've had them in twenties, and you can see them. You can unlock them with your hands. Lovely. That experiment continues for another season. I could end up going that way the, the whole, the whole lot. And on the right hand rod, we have a whole joey mackerel. Again, it's about six to seven inches long, static on the deck. Now look at that sky now. So it's a linkage of drain, free fishing. All you need is your environment agency rod license. We're at the moment fishing in about two foot of water that's all so it's winter level you might have three foot max and some little dimples and gullies but two to three foot is the uh, average so it's mostly down, down the middle channel fishing no closer than three foot to the bank otherwise you're wasting your time you'll be in two foot of water not even two foot of water one foot of water seagulls will see your baits and then it will be gone yeah, you can see the frost on the ground. What a day. Really pumped up for this today. Really looking forward to it. First frost of the year, really. Obviously we had frost last January and February, but I'm talking about this piking year. On one of my earlier videos that I made, I was talking about piking weather and someone asked, tongue in cheek, yeah of course, but, oh yeah, and what do you consider piking weather? Well, this is it. And you know, if you could look, if, you, if piking weather was in the dictionary, this morning would be it. Look at it. I mean, I, I can't wait. Let's have that beep, 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 beep. So that's the swim today. Well, and I'm confident. I don't think I'll have to move, but if I haven't got anything by midday, I shall be on the move. I've got to catch fish.
Oh, been fishing an hour. Not nothing yet. But that's not unusual here. Uh, normally, when I fish a train, normally as soon as you arrive, if there's anything in the swim, you normally get a run straight away. If not, it's a waiting game here. It's narrow, so any fish patrolling through here, they're going to see my bait. So, but each day sets you a different set of problems, doesn't it? <laughs> All the roller wheels on my alarms are frozen, so just reposition the rods and <laughs> hot breath, breathing on them, melt up the, the roller wheels. So that doesn't improve things. I've got spare alarms in the bag. I'll, I might change them over and then change all the batteries and the ones I've been using. Doesn't do any harm to uh, do a little bit, do a little bit of maintenance on your gear while you're on bank. I should do it while you're out trying to catch fish, eh? So, the sun's trying to poke his head over, so maybe the sun on the alarms, maybe will improve things. The dead baits were so frozen, I went to separate a couple of sardines and they snapped in half. So I've had them in the landing net in the water, so, and so I've separated them all, so I've got loads of baits separated. It's lovely here. I mean, I mean it's a uh, picture postcard weather for pike. In you know, I'm really hoping I cap it all off with some decent fish today. I'm really excited. Still pumped. Nothing's going to change that. And it's a great day to be out. It really is. So, see if we can catch some fish. Well, two hours into the session, I haven't had any encouragement yet, but hasn't dampened my spirits, so I'm still confident I'll catch you. Famous last words, eh? but I, know, I feel good about it. I mean, I haven't seen any movement from anything, no fry, no pike. The sun's just starting to melt the frost on the opposite bank but I won't get any sunny I'll be I'll, I'll be sitting in the frost all day which I don't mind you know what I mean modern fishing clothing and stuff you know I'm nice and warm and toasty no sun's in the eyes though you can see I'm squinting but as I say we've had two hours moving the baits around a couple of times I haven't got me, haven't got me a go-to bait, me sardine out yet. I've got, still got a herring on the left, lamprey on the float, and a Joey Macker on the right. If I've had nothing in the next half hour, 45 minutes, I shall change one of them over to a sardine. Live in doubt, get a sardine out, <laughs> as I always say. Uh, you know, but it's a. Uh, this drain here, this section of the drain here can be strange, I mean, it, it's very narrow, it's very shallow. The fish might not be here yet, but if they pass through this swim, they'll see my baits. And normally what happens here is, 
once you get one you know you get two or three that's what I'm hoping <laughs> so so I've repositioned the rods just now can have a nice hot cup of soup now warm me up a little bit and let's see if we can catch some fish Afternoon troops, decided to stay in the same swim. <laughs> like a different day now. Yeah. Overcast, there's a breeze. Going from right to left, flow of the drains going left to right. So it's stopping a lot of the debris coming down on the surface. It's, uh, I haven't had a touch and I'm not gonna be down Arton. I, you know, I started the day off in a really positive mood. It's a great day to be on the bank. And it still is, I know. So I, st I still think I'll catch. It's you know, it's one of those drains. Yeah, I could well blank, but I don't think I will. I'm still confident. I'm still buoyant. Apart from seagulls, <laughs> if I stray too close to either bank, them seagulls they can spot the dead bait on the deck, and you know they're they're swooping down for it. So got to be careful where you position your baits. But I don't know if you can hear them in the background squawking. I've got about three or four of them constantly patrolling along here looking for them. And as I've seen a few egrets, seen a few herons, but <laughs> I ain't seen any pike. But I mean we've got a few hours, it's mid well, it's one o'clock now. So I've got three hours before it gets dark. Still think I'm gonna catch. Still confident still happy to be out on the bank I don't mind I'm not gonna have a moan at all today I'm you know positive vibes all the way <laughs> might go home and kick the dog but <laughs> I'm quite happy I think I'm doing the right thing got my baits in the right position so just need a pike to show up and play ball that's the only thing and I'm you know yeah I'm gonna catch Right troops, it's almost dark, well, last hour, still not caught nothing, still not had a run, but uh, as I said before, I'm going to be upbeat all day, I don't mind, well of course I mind, but been out, doing what I love, fantastic morning, and I've still got still got an hour so 
I ain't gonna give up the ghost, but you know, I've moved the baits around, gone upstream, downstream, everywhere, tried everything. There's just nothing around, or well, nothing around feeding anyway. I mean, it was a sharp drop in temperature, but not, not drastic. You know, I've broke the ice here before and caught fish, so it's not, it's, it's not the temperature. Yeah, you know, it's just uh, one of those days so far, but it's not over. As I said, I'm going to stay upbeat all day, positive. It's been a great day out on the bank, but I've still got a chance, so last hour or so, you know, once that light, I mean, it's, the light levels are quite low now, but once it, you know, once it starts getting in, is that just before, just before it gets dark period, you know, you can still, you can still nick a fish. That's the drain. Water's very clear. I don't know if you can see that. So, you know, the margins are very shallow and it drops off to about, only two, two foot, two and a half foot at the most. So all, all the baits are really mid-channel because the seagulls are still patrolling that's the other end but as I said it's almost dark got last hour well I won't give up positive mental attitude let's catch a pike well it really is last chance saloon there it's uh, getting quite dark quite quickly doesn't look like it on the camera which is quite good the head camera though it doesn't handle the darkness at all so that's that's put away swap with a head torch still buoyant not gonna moan there's the drain still got a chance still got three baits in the water ain't dark yet if I catch anything I'll obviously video it if it's too dark I'll take some stills with a flash photography but oh well I don't mind I really don't it, you know it's been a good day just had a random beep there no reason I was hoping it was a precursor to a run but nothing's happening yet Nope, oh, been here all day. Light levels are really low now. Just so we can catch a pike.